All right, let's take a look at the Zero Trust model. And the Zero Trust model is a security uh, model which operates on the principle of trust no one and verify everything. So what I mean by that is malicious actors being able to bypass conventional access controls demonstrates traditional security measures are no longer sufficient. And that's where the Zero Trust model comes into play. So with the Zero Trust model, identity becomes the primary security perimeter. Uh, and so you might be asking, well, what do we mean by primary security perimeter? The primary or new security perimeter defines the first line of defense and its security controls that protect a company's cloud resources and assets. Um, if this still doesn't make sense, we do cover a part of the defense in depth where you see the layers of defense uh, from data all the way to physical. And so you can kind of see, you know, what we're talking about in that model there. But the old way uh, that we used to do things is network centric. So we had traditional security focused on firewalls and VPNs since there were few employees or workstations outside the office or they were in a specific remote office. So we treated the network uh, the network as kind of like the, the boundaries. So if you're in, in office, there's nothing to worry about. But we don't think like that anymore because everything is identity centric. So th this is where we have bring your own device, remote workstations, which are becoming more common. Uh, we can't always trust that the employee is in a secure location. We have uh, identity-based security controls like MFA, or providing provisional access based on the level of risk from where, when, and what a user wants to access. And identity-centric does not replace, uh, but it augments network-centric security. So it's just an additional layer of consideration for uh, security when we're thinking about our AWS cloud workloads, okay?